Welcome to lesson six of Learn C. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick lesson and it's kind of a palate cleanser because it's just sort of housekeeping. Um, and that's uh, commenting code. All right, this is sort of the homily moment where um, I become a professor, a pedantic professor, and, and um, uh, point my finger and lecture at you guys, right? And so um, the, the first platitude that I'm going to give you is code is not ephemeral. So often, people write code that ends up lasting a long time, especially in industry. You know, there's some algorithms out there that have been around a long time. That's one, th that's one thing to remember is that code is not going to, your code that you write is not going to go away. The second thing to note about it is that you're always going to work on code with someone else. Somebody else is going to use your code. You're going to use their code. It's very rare where somebody's an island and they just write their own, you know, just thousands of lines, thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of lines of code by themselves. They're always going to be writing with someone else. And so even though we all eventually, by the end of this course, we'll all understand the language of C, it's good to give human beings extra information about the code that you wrote. This is why you need to comment code. So if we go back to Dev C. And um, and look at this program, program uh, um, uh, lesson five. Um, you know we can we kind of understand what's going on, but we want to be able to for all of the programs that we write. This thing run this program using console pauser or a patch systems pause or an input loop, right? That's something that they added. I didn't add that. And if but it it's in blue. It's not black like the, all the different program the different parts of the um, uh, C program are and it's not purple purple looks like numbers and blue this dark blue per, this kind of blue looks like um, uh, strings and so this thing and green is this include statement so this light blue this light blue is a comment and there are two ways to write a comment in C the first one is you start with slash star that's a forward slash and you end with star slash and that can go multiple lines so at the beginning of every program I want you to comment your code slash star Lars B. Olson PhD eight that I wrote it which is uh, going to be um, August 11 And you can say, you know, now notice until it's still light blue, but the the include statements, which were green, are now light blue. They're still in this comment statement, and so is this slash star, because this last slash star is now paired with this one to close it. So I need to close it with another slash star. Every program you write should have your name, the date you wrote it, the subject, what it's about, and you add more stuff. This is just to introduce you to the concept of commenting. Your, your, the, the top part of your program should be very well commented. And then each, so that's, and, and the way to, and that's one way to comment code is any indiscriminately number of, of, of lines, um, you can do it the slash star and then slash that star slash. There's another way to do it, and that you, if you just want to do one line, you just do slash slash, forward slash twice. You can say declare variables, and then if you want, you can also do slash slash after you write the codes. Um, this is the new part, right? Then you go back here. Sign values to A. Right? And calculate the average. Print 
it out. So those are the two ways that you can co comment out code. If you've, you know, if, and I'm going to show you in a, a, a minute how to, how commenting out code might be advantageous. So this is um, um, this is the way that you, you comment uh, code basically is just with the slash star and star slash for multiple lines or slash slash for the rest of the line for the rest of a single line. So in other words, this works and that works. Both of them work that way. That's it. That's commenting code. You need to you really should uh, comment all your code. And so the homework now, now that we now that we've learned how to do that, go back to all your other lessons and comment them. It takes time, I know, but go back and do that to remind yourself what did I learn in lesson one in that lesson one program? What did I learn in the lesson three program? And write it down. Give yourself lots of notes. When you take the junior level course in C programming, you're going to use these uh, programs and what you've learned and these videos to help you accelerate yourself so you don't have to relearn C all over again. And so giving yourself giving yourself hints and giving yourself notes within each program that you save will really help you uh, remember what you did in this class.